I'm going to show you how to change your Minecraft texture pack or to customize your Minecraft texture pack. And so the first thing you would want to do is you would want to go up here where it says finder, go to go, and then hold down option, and then this library comes up. And then like when you let go and push it again, it just keeps on vanishing. I have no clue why they did that. It's stupid, but you just click on library, then you go to application support, and you want to find Minecraft. And once you find Minecraft, um, you want to click on bin, then you are going to want to open minecraft.jar with the archiver or whatever, and I just got it from Map Store for free, the Mac Store, not the Mac Store, and it makes a folder right here. And I'm just gonna rename it since I have something. And so now I would exit out of that, open this, and then all this class stuff, they, like the AAW.class, we don't need that, so we'll want to arrange by kind. And and show all of these. Then I'm just gonna to want to highlight all of them. And move the trash. And then. Okay, so I'll start explaining what some of the stuff is. So this this file right here, pack.txt, type whatever you want here and then save it. It's right now it's a default look of Minecraft. That is what is the gray writing. So the default look of Minecraft, the light gray writing, is whatever you type into the pack.txt, that's what it's going to come out with. Okay, so some more files that we don't need is this com. Just throw that away. We don't need... Don't need... Keep the UI. I want to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Paul's code. Um. <coughs> okay, so we've deleted everything that we do not need. Oh, and this picture right here, that is what goes right there. Okay, and then I use Pixin, you know, I think it's the best. Um, to edit your pictures with and so this terrain that's this is just all the blocks so you oh before I do anything else I recommend um, like renaming this um, like minecraft um, template or, yeah minecraft template and then so you could just paste it when you want to make a new one and you don't have to go through that process every time so now if I open up this one I would get the picture I want to edit drag it into Pixin Pixin starts doing its little thing and I have all of the blocks in the game and then including like lava and that's water and then there's like the bed, the pumpkins, jack-o'-lantern cake, netherrack, and if you want just, it's as simple as just drawing on it, that's how you edit it. And let's say I want diamonds to be red, you just fill up all of these with red. And then let's also say we want, um, sand to be see-through. I would go to my right tool which is right click and just start dragging and see how it's a gray and white um, background 
that means it's transparent, not just white. It's just transparent. So now the sand is going to look at that. The sand is going to be see-through. It's kind of like right here, the glass how it's see-through, but then there's like those couple dots. So let's just say you hate how glass has those dots. You just right tool and just erase these dots. And then there's like wall doors. There's torches, leather, leather, lever. And then once you're done, you want to go file, save, just so you save it, uh, or you can go Command S. And then change this to whatever you want. The particles. This is like. Oh my gosh! I did not mean to do that. Oh well. Why can't I zoom in? Like, you can make the, the fish hook, which is all red, I don't, you can just do whatever you want, and it's like, every little picture, like, everything is in here, like, you could change the look of armor, like, diamond armor could be red, um, I don't know why I'm using red so much. Red's not even my favorite color. You could make creepers look like Steve. And, and then, so once you have everything how you want it, like you could change the, like the moon and sun. So once you have everything how you want it, you just want to. Um, I like it back this way, so I'm just going to sort it by Kai or name, highlight it all, then right click, and then compress 17 items. Then it's going to make a archive.zip, which that's what you want. So now you can delete this. Uh, rename, like how this says default, this says Creeper Dungeon Texture Pack. You can rename this whatever you want, so let's just say test and then you want to um, open texture pack folder and just drag it in and then just close that and now I have test right here okay test and I hit none these days, single player, in world, creative, and then, if, yeah, if you just, I have like Minecraft folder, just everything I have, in my texture packs, I have Minecraft texture template, and this is basically what I use. So now we have stone or dirt that's all scribbled through. There's some transparency right there because we right click over it. And you can just make a whole bunch of like faces and stuff. You can make um, bedrock look like stone and just have it like your friend just keep on mining it. And like, they'll be like, okay, well, why is this stone not um breaking then like you could make change the way this dock looks like like you could make this all red or you could just I don't, you could do whatever like you want like I and mean, why can i not find sand because oh found it like how it kind of like looks like glass in a way it's like another way you could like look down instead of the ground around you because you can just look at all the caves. And yeah, we could just have fun, change color of diamonds. Make it like black so people think it's like you have coal or something. I don't know. Or change coal to like blue to look like diamonds. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, 
comment and subscribe because I'm going to be making a lot more videos.